Good afternoon, punters, and welcome to racing's edition of Sprukers. That spring waft has turned into an absolute pong. <laughs> it's it's oh, spring time. That. That's magnificent by you, Tags. <laughs> Footy's gone, um, and good riddance, I might add. And it's to headquarters we, we look at this week for the Turnbull Stakes, which Lee Friedman calls the fork in the spring mm, road. Interesting, isn't nice it? Nice from lethal. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it really pans out that way because last year's results didn't really go according to script. Yeah. Well, and they didn't really have a good pointer. No, he's probably hoping uh, Weekend Hustler gets four Forked. in this <laughs> race. <laughs> he's going to need something. Yeah. He's going to need something to stop him because Weekend Hustler's going to start a raging hot favourite. $1.65 on the exchange. Pompey Rule, the next best in the market, $7.50. Tuesday Joy. Mm, Tuesday Joy. Got a bit of a feeling about this. Yeah. She's got a sn- Gay's got a sniff. She does. Yeah, um, well, and for good reason. And we'll go through. Latorio, $11. Maldivian, 14 Guillotine, 18 Zarita, 26 And Zagreb, 26 mm. Jake, talk me through the likely fancies. Well, Weekend Hustle's the obvious one, Tags. Um, he's the one that just about every punter will want to be on, I'm sure. I think, other, outside of him, there's eight or nine even chances. So should anything happen to Weekend Hustler in terms of... Um, bad luck in running, whatever the case may be, that he uh, gets beaten. It's really difficult thereafter. Pompey Rule has come back with some slashes this spring. Maldivian's been consistent. Tuesday Joy ran well first up, then won at Mooney Valley. Uh, Guillotine won well at good odds at, at Mooney Valley as well. Zarit has been fantastic. Latorio keeps running places. Um, Pick a couple. Yeah, well, I know. I, I, I'm going to go with gu- Guillotine. It is a, a nice juicy odds. And I think outside of Weekend Hustler, because I think Weekend Hustler will win, but if I had to pick one outside of him at odds, he's very good value, I think. Him or Zarita. It is $18 we've got Guillotine on the exchange just at the moment. Mm. Um, a terrific run, as you say, beat Maldivian at Mooney Valley. Mm. Um, it might have got a bit of a softy yeah, there, it there at Mooney Valley. Yeah, you, you might be right. But that said, it was its first go left-handed. I just think it's got a, some good scope, and of course, it's Efficient's half-brother by Mondieu, so it's going to get it's better over ground. I think the 2,000 metres will suit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, we're really just talking about filling the placings behind the Hustler. We might well be. Well, what price does Weekend Hustler become a late? Uh, $1.50? Any shorter than $1.50. Uh, the set it's weights and penalties... One. Yeah, exactly. The is set weights and penalties don't, doesn't suit him. That's right, He's carrying yeah. more than his... Um, and he's got Barry 13. Correct. So he's so going to have to make a move from the gates. Yeah, so if he's any shorter than $1.50 or $1.60, he's a lay. I'm going to go for, uh, for, uh, for Tuesday Joy, just to... Um, to yeah, snapping at his heels. Mm. I certainly hope so, anyway, because I yeah. think it's going to make for... Um, an intriguing spring, particularly with her going to skip the Caulfield Cup and have a look at the Cox Plate. Well, I don't think that's the case any longer. Is the last right? couple of days, I think uh, Singo's finally relented to She go. might get a penalty, though. Yeah, she may well do. Anyway, there is also some terrific racing up in Sydney this week. It's the Epsom and Metropolitan weekend. There's some wonderful horses going around. We certainly hope that they race there and then they send them down south. Yeah. Um, but the Epsom handicap with Rahib, the, uh, the hot favourite there, $4, Musket $9, Judge $9, Mentality, all silent, Bank Robber $10, $11 plus. Um, Jake, which way are you going here? Well, I know you were really taken with Rahib's run at Newcastle just a couple of weeks ago. That was an absolute slasher. Um, and hard to go past him on that run. I've always been a, a fan of Gallant Tess. I've yeah, tipped her many times on Sparukas, and I'm going to stick with her again. I think she's a tough weight for age mare, and she'll be good value, hopefully around the $15 $15 mark. she is. Uh, the Metropolitan Red Lord, Fumicino, Bianca, and Gallopin, who's heading north because it can't win down south. Well, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you so much. Uh, I like Gallopin because I don't really like the Sydney weight for age form, particularly the stayers. I reckon they're no good. The flight stakes features... Perhaps the uh, the hot thing this spring. Yeah, um, stripper. <laughs> you can see her anywhere from Caulfield to King Street. Um, but I'm going to go. <laughs> but Samantha misses the one that stands out to me, Jake. Yeah. A dollar fifty. She's miles ahead of the rest of the market. Stripper and Portillo, the next best, at seven dollars fifty. I really hope that she provides that sort of um, X factor this spring. You love seeing a three-year-old fill in the Cox Plate. She was the right. only one who is entered. So hopefully she just keeps going from strength to strength. Enjoy your punting this weekend, guys. We'll see you again next week.